coming from an emerging market uh, perspective whatever you do whatever the startups do whatever the entrepreneurs do uh, good or bad is amplified is magnified across the world and there are investors watching every move of the country uh, there is a lot going for the startup industry there is a lot of ecosystem that is uh, working around it and there are many reasons for the success of the industry and but any small mistake any small i mean mistakes are okay but any you know uh, any uh, news around uh, say accounting uh, irregularities or just like it's happening in some of our neighboring countries and also you know some ceos indulging in something that is not really explainable the ethics the governance i think that is something we can do without and that uh, those sort of things i think are we can always say that mistakes can happen but mistakes are very costly at this stage of our development uh, i i worked in the us i was heading the us operations for sbi and at that there was four five years back and we could see the interest in india at that time it was covid actually amplified the whole thing and our digitization i think the country has many pluses going for it and that has attracted a lot of capital in the last uh, two years especially uh, so i think beyond the demographic dividend beyond the market uh, size beyond the fact that there is a tech savvy population that is opening it up it's a big crucible to test any innovation on a very large scale so all these positives when india is offering i think it's also uh, our responsibility to see that we do maintain the image of the country the only thing that has kept the rupee even where it is or the stock market even where it is today yes some downturn has happened but i think it is the retail investors the indian investors the domestic investors who have come in to hold the uh, level and this is unprecedented in the indian uh, stock market history in the capital markets history i think it's it's something to really take note of and with that comes a lot of responsibility because the investors involved here are not as uh savvy as the pre funds or the vc funds these are uh, you know retail investors who are just going by the market trends or whatever they know about the market the tide is turning and when the tide is turning these investors i think from from my interaction with the uh, startups or with the uh, companies what i see is that uh, so far the growth story you know like they were uh, describing about whether you uh, you are going to earn you are going to burn whatever i think the growth story has been really going on and you had to run as fast as you could to get where we are today now suddenly questions are being asked not only by the investors even by sebi oh how did you get this valuation how did you you know what is the basis of this uh, entire ipo valuation that has uh, come uh, you know so uh, there are questions about where is your money coming from where is the cash flow where is the profit what are the what is the business model uh, you know where is the projections for the next so many years so all these are basic financial discipline questions and i think this is something that we need to uh, reckon reckon with coming to financial discipline i have a few uh, points to make i think i have seen in sbi i was heading branches mid corporate large corporate branches where we lend and i have seen technocrat promoters no very very highly qualified very intelligent of high caliber they float companies and they know the product they know the process but the weakest link usually is the finance portfolio or the hr you know i think that is something that every promoter now i can see lot of uh, financial uh, jargon you know coming people are aware but maybe those days it was not so much so suddenly you are at the mercy of the chartered accountancy firm or your auditor and uh, when things go bad that is when you approach the bank uh, that i will come to you know the relationship with the banker because i being a banker i think i would encourage the startups the companies here to maintain that uh, narrative maintain the uh, relationship with your financiers you are doing it with with the pe investors you are doing it with the vc i am sure they are offering a lot of uh, runway to you to build your system but uh, but the debt financing gives you the diversification of sources of finance and that comes from banks whether private sector public sector all that is agnostic 
my suggestion and my request is to list in india in case you know you are thinking of listing any time and don't please think that indian stock markets and indian capital markets are not there in fact they are far ahead of the curve if there is a system t plus 1 we call it transaction day plus one day settlement is t plus 1 in india now across the globe even in the us it is t plus 2 so and only china and one more country maybe taiwan has this t plus 1 and uh, it is kicking in i think october is the final stage when the last uh, top 500 companies will come on t plus 1 and this is happening seamlessly uh, there is no uh, glitch it is working through the exchanges through the depositories and through the settlement clearing system so i think technologically we are there the lic ipo the numbers were handled very very smoothly that was considered a stress test for uh, the capital markets so Uh, if you don't list here for whatever reason, at least float a part of your shares in India. 